Here's the next part of my birthday special for Homeboy 590, in which this time around, we're going to play some Jeopardy on the Nintendo Wii. <clears throat> Won $100,000 on the 2003 PC version, albeit the fact that the game was kind of glitchy near the end, but... Oh well. Let's get right to this. categories with this one. Busy as a beaver. That's so cliche. Adventures in the air. Let's celebrate. Sports terms. And playwrights. Busy as a beaver for 200. Where do we begin? Beavers have six of these on their heads in two sets of three. One is transparent and helps in swimming underwater. Player one. Use the Wii remote or press the corresponding direction on the plus control Fins? Tab, and then press... Oh, no, that's not the oh, darn. Anyone else? Darn, 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 darny, darn. Here's the correct response. Eyelids. Oh, eyelids. Okay, busy as a beaver for 400. Select again. This... Five litter beaver home may have separate entrances and a carpeted floor. Hopefully no elks. What's a lodge? Yes, player one. Yeah. Right here we are. go. Beaver six hundred. Player one. Of one, five, or fifteen, the rough maximum number of minutes a beaver can hold its breath underwater. What's fifteen? Okay, player one. That is correct. This is a beaver for 800. You get to pick again. Natural enemies of the beaver include bobcats, coyotes, and this glutton associated with Michigan. What's a wolverine? Let's hear it, player one. Whoa! Yes. Uh, this is a beaver for 1,000. We return to you, player one. The coat of arms of this company, founded in 1670, displays four furry beavers. What is the Hudson? Okay, player one. Hudson Bay Company? Good. Okay. That's so cliche for 200. Layer one. Need something? We'll just come to the point and stop beating around the this. What is Bush? Yes, layer one. <laughs> I'd like busy as a beaver for 400. Choose again, layer one. The final outrage is the straw that breaks this animal's back. What's a camel? Let's hear it, layer one. I'll go with busy. Uh, uh, that's a cliche for 600. You again, player one. People who meet briefly and then go their separate ways are like these that pass in the night. What are shadows? Player one. Or what are uh, storms? Oh, sorry. That's uh, Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? It's player two. Ships, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Player two, back to Let's you for our next selection. You've been in trouble if someone has read you this act. Let's hear it, player one. What is the riot act? Yeah. Uh, cliche for a thousand. Player one. An indefinitely long time is often referred to as a month of these days. What are Mondays? Player one. Any other takers? Okay, player three. Sundays. 
Good. Okay. Layer three, back to you. Adventures in the air for 200. Hitting a speed of about 800 miles per hour, Chuck Yeager broke this barrier in October of 1947. What's the sound barrier? It's layer one. Yeah. That's correct. Um, Adventures of the Air for 400. Select again. In 1907, Paul Cornu became the first man to fly freely in one of these horizontally rotored aircraft. What is a helicopter? Yes, player one. You are correct. Adventures in the Air for 600. Please pick again, player. August 1983 saw the first night launch of this reusable U.S. orbital vehicle. What is a space shuttle? Okay, player one. Right. Let's go with Adventures in the Air for 800. Choose again, player one. Ooh, Daily Double! Yeah! Answer, the Daily Double. And you have the lead. Please select your wager, player one. And the clue. Taking 16 hours in 1919, British aviators Alcock and Brown became the first to cross this large body of water non-stop. What is the Atlantic Ocean? Congratulations! All right! Mention the air for a thousand. Player one. In 1909, Louis Blériot became the first person to fly in a plane over this between Great Britain and France. What's the English Channel? Yes, player one. Hey, you're right. Let's celebrate for 200. We return to you. The patron saint of lovers is honored on this annual holiday. What's Valentine's Day? Let's hear it, player one. That's correct. Let's celebrate for 400. You again, player one. Former U.S. Senator Gaylord Nelson founded this annual observance devoted to the environment. What's Earth Day? Player one. Let's celebrate for 600. Layer 1. Customs on this 121st day of the year include dancing around a pole and giving baskets to friends and family. What's May Day? It's Layer 1. Let's go with celebrate for 800. Layer 1. Collecting money for UNICEF on this holiday was begun in 1950 by a Philadelphia Sunday School class. What's Halloween? Player one. <laughs> Celebrate for a thousand. You get to pick a meaning a coming. It's the period before Christmas that begins on the Sunday nearest to November 30th. Let's hear it, player one. What is... Yo? Oh. Oh. Darn. Anyone else? Yes, player three. Advent? Good for you. Okay. Player three, you pick again. Sports please. turns for 200. Net, ace, foot fold. What's tennis? It's player one. That is cool. Sports turns for 400. Player one, back bunker, wedge, caddy. What's golf? Okay, player one. Sports turn 600. You get to pick again. Bomb, backfield, blitz. What's football? Let's hear it, player one. You got it. Sports turn 800. You again, player one. And here's Kelly. Googly, gully, and batsman are terms used in this sport. What is cricket? That's it. I'll go with um, sports turn for 1,000. Please pick again. Fletch. Quiver. What is archery? Okay, player one. You got That's it. That's too tough. 200. Choose again, player one. His father, James O'Neill, was a 19th century actor whose most famous role was the Count of Monte Cristo. Here's Eugene O'Neill. It's player one. Right. 400. We return to public disgust over his play, Ghosts, caused this Norwegian to retaliate in his An Enemy of the People. Yes, player one. Who is Henrik Ibsen? Henrik Ibsen. 
600. Player one. This Pulitzer Prize winning playwright was related to John Sevier, the first governor of the volunteer state. What is, uh, Louis Williams? Player one. Yes. 800. Player one. This Shakespeare contemporary is remembered for Dr. Faustus and for getting stabbed to death. Player one. Who is Christopher Marlowe? Correct. Now the last clue. Here's the thousand dollar clue for you. A 1934 New York City taxi driver's strike led him to write Waiting for Lefty, the first of his plays to be produced. Okay, player one. Who is Harold Pin or yeah, Harold Pincher? Nope. No. Right. So I'm gonna finish the Jeopardy round with thirteen thousand two hundred. That's okay. I'll take that. Here's what we were looking for. Clifford Odette. Oh Clifford Odette, that's right. The selection will be yours, player two, when we return from this break. We start the Double Jeopardy categories with this one. States of the Union. Books and Authors. The Elements. Language Lab. State Governors. And completes the Star Trek title. Okay. Player two. You go first in this Completes the Star Trek title 400. Where no man has done this. What has gone before? Yes, player one. That is correct. Uh, Star Trek for 800, please. Select again. The trouble with these creatures. What are Vulcans? It's player one. Or no, the trouble with Klingons. Oh, oh, no. That's incorrect. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here's the correct response. Tribbles. Oh, tribbles. The trouble with tribbles. Star Trek 1200. Player one. The muds these. Yes, player one. Muds spores. What are spores? Nope. Darn. Any other takers? Shows you how much I know about Star Trek, which is not a lot. Here's what we wanted. Women. Oh, okay. Star Trek 1600. Choose again, player one. City on the edge of this. Okay, player one. City on the edge of nowhere? <sighs> no. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? Slipping a little bit. Let's hear it. Player two. Forever? That is correct. Okay. We return to you, player two. The Corbomite, this. It's player one. What is the, what is the Corbomite syndrome? Uh, no. no. Anyone else? I do not know anything about Star Trek. Player three? Crisis? Sorry. Uh, your money. Any other takers? It's player two. Maneuver. That's right. Way to go. Please pick again. Player two. Thanks to the Union 400. Here's Kelly with the clue. This state's flag featuring the Big Dipper was designed by a 13-year-old Aleut boy. What's Alaska? Let's hear it. Player one. That's there correct. we go. Sits of the Union for 800. Layer 1. With a population of about 120,000, Columbia is this state's most populous city. What is uh, South Layer Carolina? Sits of the correct. Union for 1,200. Layer 1. Mississippi and it have the shortest coasts on the Gulf of Mexico, only about 50 miles apiece. What's Alabama? Okay, Layer 1. Good. I'll go with the uh, State of the Union for 1600. You again, player. This state has the highest average altitude of any state east of the Mississippi. Must be pretty mountainous. 
Yes, player one. East of the Mississippi. I'll say what's Vermont. Oh. Sorry, that's wrong. Oh. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Let's hear it. Player two. West Virginia? Yes. Okay. You get to pick again, player two. Tears were shed when the Teddy Bear Museum in Naples in this state closed its doors forever in 2005. Naples. I think it's in, it's player one. I think it's in Florida. I'll say it was Florida. Right you are. All right. So uh, the books and authors warned. 2003, Mitch album had a number one bestseller with the five people you meet in here. Five people you meet in what is uh, heaven? Yep. 800, same category. Player one. In 1947, he published his first story collection, Dark Carnival. Fahrenheit 451 came six years later. Yes, player one. Who is Ray Bradbury? That's correct. I'll go with uh, 1200, books and authors. Choose again, player one. In Willa Cather's O Pioneers, the heroine, Alexandra Bergson, is of immigrant stock from this country. Alexander Bergson. Okay, player one. What is Ireland? That's not it. Not Ireland. Any other takers? It's player three. Sweden? Good. It is Sweden. You again, player three. In 2007, his book, The Road, earned him a Pulitzer Prize and entry into Oprah's book club. Let's hear it, player one. Who is Cormac McCarthy? Good for you. All right, books and authors for 2000. We return to you. James Michener's Centennial centers on a fictional town in this state. Player one. What is uh, Arizona? Oh. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Yes, player two. Colorado? Yes. Oh. Player two. You pick again. Please. The element's 400. Because sound travels 2.7 times faster in this gas than in air, inhaling it makes your voice higher. What's helium? Okay, player one. Wow. All right. The elements for 800. Player one. Neon, argon, and radon are among these gases formerly called rare or inert. What are noble gases? Player one. Woo. Correct. The elements for 1,200. Player one. Yeah. Answer. The first of the two daily doubles. 11,600, I'll do it all. Decide on your wager, player one. Okay, here is the clue. Superman knows its atomic number is 36. What's Krypton? That puts you even further Elements ahead. for 16. Select again. This very hard metal is named for the children of Uranus and Gia. Yes, player one. What is titanium? Yeah. That's it. Elements 2000. Layer 1. Harold Croto and others found this common element had a new molecular form, the fullerene. It's layer 1. What is... Uh, oxygen? Oh! No. Oh well. <coughs> Anyone else? Worth a shot anyway. Okay, player two. Was it carbon? Good. What I wanted to go with, but I didn't for some reason. You get to pick again, player Language two. Language lab for 400. Most languages of Western Europe get their words for read and write from this language's leggere and scribere. Leggere and scribere. I will say what is um, French. Oh, oh, darn. Sorry. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this?
Here's the response we were looking for. Latin. Okay. Please pick again. Player two. Language lab for 800. Hochdeutsch is the modern standard form of this language. What's German? Okay, player one. Right. Uh, language lab for 1200. Player one. The pinyin system for writing this language in the English alphabet was officially adopted January 1st, 1979. It's player one. What is, um, Chinese? Yes. <laughs> All right, 1600. You get to pick again. In French, hier Henri Meme, yesterday Henry loved me, is an example of this flawed past tense. Let's hear it, player one. What is, um, imperfect? Yeah. Right. A language lab 2000. Please pick again, player Douglas Hyde, also known as Ancreven Even, fought to preserve this language and founded a league of the same name. Yes, player one. What is Gallic? Yes. All right, 400. Player one. Elected in 2003, this governor made his totally fantastic film debut in 1970s Hercules Goes Bananas. Who was Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yes. 800. You again, player This one. patriot, known for his bold signature, died in 1793 while serving his ninth term as governor of Massachusetts. Who is John Hancock? Okay, player one. That's correct. 1,200. Player one. Do the daily double. <clears throat> yeah. Answer. The second daily double. You are currently in the lead. Please enter your wager. All right, here's your clue. By law, this ex Texas governor can never be elected U.S. president again. Who's George L. B. Bush? Congratulations, you're still in first, player 1600. one. 1,600. Select again. He was elected governor of Arkansas at age 32. Who is Bill Clinton? Player one. Good for you. Now the last clue. Here's the $2,000 clue. Hamilton Fish, Enos T. Throop, and George Pataki have served as governors of this state. Let's hear it, player one. What is Ohio? No. Darn. Oh, well. Any other takers? I'm going to finish the double jeopardy round with 34,600, which is okay. We're talking about New York. Oh, New York. Congratulations to all of you. You'll be continuing on to final jeopardy when we come back. This is the final jeopardy category for today. Islands. Okay. What are you going to wait? I'm going to wait just 400. Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. Let's take a look at that final Jeopardy clue right now. In 2003, Emily Rose Christian became the first baby born on this island in 17 years, bringing the population to nearly 50. I'll say what it is. I'm going to say it was Pitcairn Island, but I'm guessing... What did you say? Tasmania. Sorry, that no. incorrect response will drop your score by... Everything, so you end up with nothing. And your response? You said what well, is Pitcairn Island. How much do you add to your total with that correct response? 4,050. You go to 13,850. Did you come up with the correct response? I also said was Pitcairn Island. And yeah. that correct response will add... 400, bring me up to $35,000. Woo woo! Yeah. This makes you our new champion, player one. I'll see you so all. So congratulations. See you all for the next segment in just a little bit. Stick around, folks. <laughs>